Hello friends, this video on plant growth and development part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the fourth plant hormone that is abscisic acid. So abscisic acid is the one which acts as an inhibitor. So it doesn't promote growth in a plant, rather it is an inhibitor. It doesn't allow the plant to grow. So that is why it is a plant inhibiting, growth inhibiting hormone. So it is a growth inhibiting plant hormone. So it is, you can say it is just the opposite of oxygen, gibberellins and uh, uh, cytokinins. They are also known as stress hormone. Why stress hormone? So because they do a lot of things which actually stops the growth in a plant. Now when they do so many things to stop growth of something, it will obviously create, create stress. And that is why it is called stress hormone. So just think of a situation. Let's not talk about plants. Just think of any general situation. There is suppose a person who is doing very good in, at, at his work. He's expecting a promotion, he's expecting some awards, he's expecting a lot of appreciation. That is his expectation because he's doing a good job. But now let us suppose that uh, uh, a manager comes, a new manager gets appointed and he's not at all appreciating him for anything, right? So what happens? He is not getting a promotion, he is not getting any appreciation, he is not getting any awards. So everything is stopped. All his promotion is stopped. All his career growth is stopped. So everything is stopped. So this would create a stress in that person, right? So similar is the case here. This abscisic acid wants to stop the growth of the plant. And it does a lot of things. For example, it induces dormancy in seeds. It uh, make, it causes abscission. That is, it makes the plant to lose its fruits, leaves very early. So that means the plant experiences stress. And that is why this hormone is known as the stress hormone. Abscisic acid is often abbreviated as ABA and that is how it is generally denoted most of the time. So here you can see how the structure of abscisic acid look like. So let us talk about the role of abscisic acid. It inhibits growth as I mentioned just now. It reverses the effects of auxins and gibberellins. So it is exactly the opposite of them because they promote growth, they help the plant to uh, in stem elongation, they help them to grow and it stops the growth. So it is just the opposite. It stimulates stomata closure. So see some of the activities which actually stops the growth in plant, one of them is stomata closure. Now if the stomata gets closed, we all know how important stomata is. It is through this openings of the stomata that exchange of gases take place. And without this exchange of gases, the processes of photosynthesis, respiration, nothing will take place inside the plant cells. Right? So if stomata is closed, this exchange stops and all other, uh, all these activities taking place inside the plant body will also stop. So the growth will obviously stop. It inhibits seed germination. It doesn't allow seed to grow into plants. It induces dormancy. The seeds become inactive and uh, for quite some time and it do not give you plants. Now, these are the roles of abscisic acid. Now, looking at these roles, you might be thinking that, oh my God, abscisic acid is such a villain to the growth of plants. It doesn't let the plant to do any good thing. But there are few good things which it does for the plant in disguise. Even though it, it, it has got all negative uh, effects on the plant, but still out of these negative effects, there are some positive effects on the plant also. So we will quickly look at those positive effects. So some advantages in disguise. It helps the seeds to withstand desiccation inducing dormancy. Now when it makes the seeds dormant, it actually makes it inactive for some time. So what happens? The seeds try to adapt themselves in that dry conditions. Desiccation means dry conditions when it, not much of water availability is there. So the seeds try to do something to withstand the dry conditions. So the tolerance increases. Similarly, it increases the tolerance of plants to stress. As I said, when your manager gives you a lot of stress, you still try to manage with that. You still try to control your stress. Maybe you do some yoga, you do some uh, exercise and you try to keep yourself cool and still try to work hard. 
right so what are you doing you are, it, it is actually increasing your tolerance to experience that stress so similarly abscisic acid increases the tolerance of plants to stress so that whenever the plant come across any such stressful condition because of some other external factor it is able to uh, tolerate that so that means it is advantageous to the plants thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.